There is beauty in culture and wonder in tradition. Look at this, man. This is looking good. It's looking great. Montana is no stranger to indigenous tribes that have lived on this land for centuries. A lot of that culture was lost due to the modernization. But now tribal members are bringing those traditions back and reintroducing them to the tribal members of today. But to be able to do this is really thankful. They're very, very thankful. Yeah. Buffalo were very important to Native American tribes. A big funny term I always heard was the, the, the bison were like a walking whole good store. You know, you can get everything you need from the bison. One bison had enough meat to last an entire family through the winter. The hide of the bison would be used for clothing, housing, and blankets. Not a single part of the bison was wasted. Everything was used. It's uh, really fun to be able to do this and get a big bison hide. We're very fortunate. Techniques like this just aren't taught anymore. And uh, it makes me think back when all the struggles I had first learning. And it's like, I'm glad I'm teaching somebody this because I didn't have anybody to teach me when I was their age. That's why the workshop was created to reintroduce these methods back. We just thought it would be important to really uh, bring a traditional uh, group activity into um, access to the kids here. It was a big goal. The process of high tanning is fun. Really, really just seeing them completely forget about it after an hour and they're into it and laughing and having fun. The techniques taught in the class were traditionally used by the Blackfeet tribe in the past. You go from that real ugly, me, fleshy, stinky stage and then you start seeing this beautiful white hide coming out and it's, it's amazed that this is what's under there. You still learn something new all the time, that's for sure. <laughs> More classes are sure to come. We're hoping that uh, we can do something annually so everybody can get together and do this. Thing. In Browning, Montana, I'm Brianna Juno, MTN News.